first reading. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 6, verses 1 to 8. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne, with the train of his garment filling the temple. Seraphim were stationed above. Each of them had six wings. With two they veiled their faces, with two they veiled their feet, and with two they hovered aloft. They cried one to the other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. All the earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of that cry, the frame of the door shook, and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, I am doomed, for I am a man of unclean lips, living among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, holding an ember that he had taken with tongs from the altar. He touched my mouth with it and said, See, now that this has touched your lips, your wickedness is removed, your sin purged. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, who will go for us? Here I am, I said, send me. The Word of the Lord a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 10, verses 24 to 33. Jesus said to his apostles, No disciple is above his teacher, no slave above his master. It is enough for the disciple that he become like his teacher, for the slave that he become like his master. If they have called the master of the house of Beelzebul, how much more those of his household? Therefore do not be afraid of them. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worthy more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledge me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly father. The Gospel of the Lord the challenges to good news and those who try to live it are immense, says Matthew today in the Gospel. The challenges could rise from within, from outside, for our surrounding, from among those with whom we share our lives, because the power of the evil one can capture us, dominate us, and abuse us, seduce us, mislead us, like appetizing ice in cake, full of poison deep within, not realizing. The temporary little taste could be the root of eternal pain and destruction. And that is how the evil operates in good intended individuals. But our aim and our purpose is to live by the invitation from the giver of life. Because it is not easy. It is not easy for us to discern except in prayer listening to his word deeply within our hearts and learning from elders, learning from the experienced ones, learning from the tradition of scripture and the church, how to face such challenges even today that are rising in our midst among us. The very style of worship Isaiah talks of in today's first reading and the gospel 
our worship must lead us to life. Our presence that is discovered in prayer must make us carry eternal presence into the world that is open. And that is how we can challenge the forces of evil. In a temple, we could be very safe. But beyond it, uh, beyond worship, in the vast world are the challenges that are immense. So the word of God is telling us to be well equipped. Not our external, but the spiritual, well built. Please into God and strengthened by God and equipped by his spiritual blessings so that the armor of his saving love may lead us to overcome all challenges that could arise within us and among and surrounding of us. And so let us pray that the giver of life may lead us to discover his living presence in us and in others. That the very one who is sharing himself in word and deed may lead each one of us in our mission to proclaim the good news by our very style of life. May God bless you all.